Here we go, let's hear what they say How we go, we're on our way Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Escape to reality Woo-hoo. Welcome everyone to Escape to Reality Podcast with Justine And Geneva, hello friends, we're here, love after lockup time uh for those of you who haven't heard um we have received some very critical information that nicole and ruined that storyline for me from love after lockup have done porn together um several not not several i should have watched them strap it on i would have watched that i should have and now it's deleted but i'm okay not seeing it i can imagine what happens yeah i saw enough i watched the first one which was them playing with the dildos and then the ass eating situation which was oh my god that's and disgusting it just looked, they were on the carpet on the floor it was oh. low budget and they looked very familiar those, those like little dildos had, tiniest little dicks in the whole planet and i'm sorry sexual? i'm not a fucking porn star i think i could fake suck that nasty little thing way better than they were doing Lacey doesn't even act like she knew how to suck a dick and you're trying to make money, I could be a bazillionaire, okay? <laughs> I, uh, it was, I'm, it was I'm too pissed. much. That was also old I'm fucking because, pissed. because her boobs were not the boobs she has now. Um, I believe it must Lacey. have been from like 2014 because there was a text interaction. Did you see that? No. How old On- is Nicole to be doing porn in 2014? I feel like she's probably 25, 26. So she's like 17. Yeah, God. she's probably in a state where you can do it at 16. I don't know if Ugh. you can, but and there's probably different ways that you can do porn if you're not fucking a dude. Yes. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess, it, you know, they did knew? it before she went to jail. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You know how yeah. I knew she was a porn star was when she said when the friend um, was coming at her, <laughs> Derek or whatever, she was like, she never hit me with a strap. And it was like the way she said it, like with not even like a strap on. It was like with a strap, like it was lingo in the in the, you know, like she was working it like, oh, she never like, hit we me would never strap. say strap. No, who would say that? Only somebody in porn would say that. No. Yeah. Link, like, yeah lesbian porn lingo i just found myself or like any yelling porn i guess at the tv when she was on like stop stop it like you're acting prude i've seen you you know what i mean Suck like, Deontay's dick. Right. jump on his cock and give him a ride nicole everybody i mean and the fa- and i i hate tyler because he's a little dirty little bastard i mean i'm not going to show him it because he'd probably enjoy it it's disgusting those girls l- licking an asshole that's just, dis- I'm so disgusted. Sorry, she just whipped her ass explicit. around and just, I mean, that's how well Lacey and Nicole know each other. And that shows how bullshit yeah. Nicole and Deontay are. It was completely staged. Lacey or Nicole, just because you're a porn star doesn't mean you have to fuck everyone. But so you I can't think play this Nicole, little Susie Q. Yeah, I think Nicole made herself available to get on the show. I don't think definitely. Deontay was in on it, but no, no he's too no. much of a sucker. But no. she definitely was. She's to conning him and yeah. Lacey. Lacey's yes. in on it, too. Absolutely. Setting it up with producers. I got a yep. friend. She's in jail. She's got yep. somebody. and She found anybody who would do it. Yep. Now, the whole thing seems so fake to me, and so- I can't get her pornness out of my head. She's not, not just either. somebody on TV anymore. Right, right. I just even when she like rolled up in the dress, you know, when she came out in the beginning, she's like, my eyes are up here. I'm so in like, a Deontay, dress. It's like, stop it. Just stop. yeah. Oh, shut up. You want everyone to look at your stupid tits. Oh, God. Her I hair just... looks leaps and bounds better than poor Lisa's, though. I have. Okay. I think. What did they do to Lisa's hair? You realize that she was wearing that headband because the top was still sticking up because I was seeing when they were doing it, like a, they use like, it looked like three different shades and types of hair. And then she had to wear a headband because I don't think the top, it's still short. Poor Lisa. And and she's strapped into that dress. Her hair. Yeah. You can get good extensions these days. There's no need for good extensions. She had glued in. I don't know what she did. It just looked terrible. We TV get this girl a 
a situation where they just flash the girl's shop and get her a good set of freaking hair. That was I would rather wear a wig. Me too. It was terrible. It was so much hair. Who cares? Wear the short hair. It was gives a fuck. It was not a good look at all. I feel all. bad for Lisa. Her eyes are sad. The kids are sad. The whole situation's weird. Stan's a fucking creeper. Yeah. It's on a different level. It's not fun to me at all. Even the way she when she walked up like in the black dress and he's like, yeah, well, Lisa, it's like that's he's what he wants pimpish. her to look like. It's mm-hmm. very pimpish. And she seems like an abused person who's doing this because so she sad. has to. And it's sad. yeah. Yeah. She like hates him. She does. She doesn't want to be there at that dinner. She doesn't want to be in that outfit. I truly feel no. like Lisa just wants to be exactly how she walked out of prison, like dressed yeah. kind of like androgynous. I agree. Rocking her short hair, not dealing with fucking Stan. I think Lisa could beat the system and get out if she had the right support system. I think so too. Yeah. I, I really do. I just I feel bad for her. Like she even said, like, I don't need somebody knocking me down every time I try to get up. And it's like, exactly. You don't. You don't need to stand talking to you a type of way. You just got to like, oh, I feel so bad for her. Stan's friend coming over in his red Santa suit. You're still in the pajamas, huh? He's out there in his pajamas. Can you imagine seeing a camera crew out there and he's in plaid pajamas? Like rinsing his car. Stan is such a creep. Such a creep. I feel really I, bad for her. I hate him. Me too. I do too. It's not. Um, this it's season's not cool. turning dark. It was fun for a while. Uh, it's a little dark because related the Doug and Rachel shit. It's all fun until you see what the hell. So. So he Doug and Doug and Doug and Doug and Doug and Doug and Doug. Where's Doug? Here's Doug. It? I'm There's Doug. There's Doug. Dougs. How did she it's end Dougville. up at? So he lived. Doug Jr. lived with the sister, and somehow the sister like abandoned him, and that's how Rachel or, got him. Or Rachel it must have just come through the grapevine that he's got a new wife, and I bet you it kind of was like, oh, well, like she it's your just problem now. Take him, okay. and she Rachel's a sweetheart. Rachel's way. She's like probably one of the top quality people on Love After Lockup has ever had. I think she's trying to keep him in line. Um, <sighs> just she just looks so nervous as they were getting ready to leave, like <sighs> pacing around, like fuck, we gotta be back for curfew. And Doug's already like he's not even supposed to it. leave, right? Yeah, no. So how could they not? How could it not be beeping? Oh, great question. Once he leaves the driveway, I don't. I wonder if it's like. If it's just they turn it on to track and when they want, like, because he's not on house arrest, he can still go places, you know. Oh, he's not on house arrest. No, right. Just That's true. That's true. Right. OK. OK. Good point. Right. He's not like that girl. Right. Crazy face, crazy eyes. OK. Good point. Imagine if you walked up to your dad after not seeing him <laughs> for like 17 years <laughs> on and off. What's up, you little son of a bitch? <laughs> That's probably something oh, I'd say. God. Uh, Doug is trouble in River City. He's never getting out of it. I think he's a decent person who's had a troubled beginning, but he's got a chip on his shoulder. I don't think that's fixable. God, and just seeing that family, it was like, Jesus. It was sad. It this was really sad. Like, the mom doesn't even want to come out. She's pissed no, and, and they hurt. Just look unhealthy. Like life has been hard and you see it all <laughs> over their faces. You know, it's just sad when you see like, just poverty being poor just mm-hmm. fucks you in so many ways because you can't eat good you can't like it's there's sad. Just so oh, many yeah. things mm-hmm. you can't take care of yourself next thing you know right you're just like a bunch of right degenerates. then the health care system you can't afford right you're smoking exactly. cigarettes yep. and you're... next thing you know you got lung failure and you're on death row. Oh, he does look sick and he's telling him rachel's a good woman and fuck you doug he fucks rachel over somehow rachel's sitting there taking his family, little Doug Jr. While he's in jail to go see right. his family. Right. Fuck you, Doug Sr. How many Dougs are there? I don't know. I, it pisses me off. Poor Rachel. Yeah. Thank God Rachel's got a good mom. And the sisters, the sisters know that Doug is. Is Ashley mean to poor little Doug Jr.? Where are the letters? Poor Doug Jr. 
And that was terrible oh. to see him like pounding that monster, not wanting to talk about it, getting all worked up. Maybe that was like a Ricky rough Bobby. scene. I'm all hopped up in Mountain Dew. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Me and Tyler just recently watched that, and we were laughing hysterically for days. Like, I didn't realize how funny it was until I had kids, and that was, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That movie is what ridiculous. I appreciate Will Ferrell a lot more later in life for some reason. I didn't when I oh, first I've watched him. Will Ferrell, I think he's a comedic. I comedic. like him a lot more. He's fantastic. Yeah. I've great. really failed at that. Yeah, he's really terribly, funny, but. Yeah, he's he is such a hoot. Looks though. seventy, but <clears throat> does yeah. he these days? Oh yeah, um, fully gray. He looks. When so did old. Doug Junior and Doug? When can you be riding in the front seat? I know that's Doug Junior's worst, like least problem to worry yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Is flying through the think, windshield, but <laughs> right, I don't think that's my kids. I I you know I let them eat a happy meal here and there, and I'm not a perfect mother in any means. I let them chew gum. You know, sometimes if I'm too tired, they might go to bed without their teeth brush. But Doug Jr. Drink. My kids are never drinking a monster. Fuck no. Because A, I don't want to deal with the repercussions of that, right? No, that's not going to do to a toxic. child. Yeah, no. I'm good it's on like that. drinking the end of a toilet sewer. It's terrible. I mean, in college, I used to drink like on the regular to pre-party before you oh, yeah. leave the house. Heart attack like, central. Monster Red Bull vodka. I mean, just five hours. Yeah, five, five hour energy. hours. That yeah. has got to be just a heart attack waiting to happen. Let's take five shots. Let's pound five hour energy oh, and let's my fucking God. go. It's crazy. Do you but that's the, way too young. I mean, that's got to be loco TikTok. Up. Oh, my God. <laughs> about the guy like the millennials different like describing a, a four loco to a millennial or to like i've a never had a four loco generation i haven't either it was hilarious i, wish. Or generation I did see generation. that though yeah but i didn't really resonate with me because i had never had one speaking of tiktok you're the one you posted on our page if you guys aren't following us escape rally podcast on instagram <laughs> With the watermelon, that shit made me laugh. I don't know why. A, that can't made be me real. laugh too. That kid no was hilarious. Oh, he was hilarious. I love a deadpan me delivery too. like that. I loved him. Oh, that's great. Why would you put, they're saying that you can't eat water. Your kids don't like watermelon. So they put whipped cream on mustard watermelon and sprinkles and mustard. Mustard. Don't forget the oh, mustard. Oh, the mustard is disgusting. A uh, whipped cream and sprinkles. I'm in on all day. Watermelon, though. No, you don't. But I mean, I would take whipped cream. I'm definitely not. Oh yeah, of course. Oh mustard. yeah, I'll eat whipped cream and sprinkles by the can. You know. Oh yeah, me too. God, nothing right. better than just a little <laughs> right out of the refrigerator. Oh my oh, the god, best. I love it, and I love a can of sprinkles right down the gullet. Give me that plastic, baby. It's depressing, and Rachel really. I don't know who she's going to end up with, but she deserves a lot better than she, she picks. Fuck you, Doug. You've screwed over. Maybe he didn't screw over. I shouldn't assume that. Maybe Rachel dumps him. So because she's very happy in our interview. Right. She was. All right. But let's see here. It bothers me. Me too. Jeff and Anissa. Oh, God. He's already trying to never see her again. Like ever. And he wants another hundred bucks wants for more money. drugs. Yeah. Not He's not good. off drugs living in there, right? I don't think so. I mean, the a the way he's just I already setting people. up like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to see you. And then just her just like she never she just has no self-worth because she's never going to stop. She would give him money until the end of time. I think Unfortunately, I hate these people. Yeah, me too. I hate her. I hate their story. I hate him. I'm bored with them. I I do love she has a real broad walk. Like I really like her walk. It's very like authoritative and she's always yeah, in yeah, cowboy yeah. boots and jeans. I don't hate her. I shouldn't say that. And then she's all pissed. I, don't know. I was gonna have sex today. It's been six years. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I thought we'd fuck in the the, the Oh speaking room. of speaking of uh this love after lockup vibe, uh what happened with uh, Angela? I saw you commented oh my God. they broke up. She <laughs> I responded. You'd laugh I, at love, that. I love Angela. Um I, I had seen some messages on there that she seemed to be coded that her and Tony were on the outs, but no, then she put something up that was legitly about it. And I put, I'm sorry, Angela. She's like, it's okay, sweetie. You can't disappoint someone with no expectations or something like that. Poor lady. <laughs> oh, good old Angela. Of course it's going to happen. Right. 
My heart goes out to these love after lockupers. God, they always get fucked over, man. They do. Oh, speaking of um, the interviews, we interviewed Brittany, and then I saw, which we never thought to ask, she was freaking arrested she was for arrested. assault. I Should saw have asked that. that. Let's put that on the docket now. Anytime we interview someone from Love After Lockup, we yes. ask if they were arrested. I was pissed if they that are we not the think film. about that too. Why not? Right. Yeah. Of course. We just got to ask. Have you spent but any time maybe in Maybe she's been in some situations. Yeah. Uh, huh. We also didn't ask her, did you guys have video sex, which she evidently had a ring light for. I mean, what the hell? Jeez. Going all she out. Good out of the- I bet you she does better she would be a better porn star than what we saw with Lacey and Nicole. Well, she's taking the time to set up a nice like vibe. <laughs> she's got the, the way lighting. Lacey and Nicole look with their trashy blonde hair. They should be millionaires. They sucked. Who wants to look at someone licking someone else's asshole? That is disgusting. I was disgusted. I mean, that's porn, though. There's shit coming out of there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's I mean, wrong with people? A lot of people do like ass play. You oh, know? God. <laughs> oh, God. You should keep that in, though. I just. Brittany and Ray. Yeah. It'll get good. Was well, she going to go beat grandma's ass next week? Oh, A, loved the way grandma rolled up. Smile <laughs> as wide as the day is long. Ready to see her boy. Couldn't give a shit. She wasn't. She probably didn't even want to talk to Brittany. She was going to roll right past her. Oh, my God. What about Deontay? I mean, he's in the love after lockup nature where he's like, got to go, guys. But he's got to go fuck Nicole Jr. His doll. He takes it out of his pillowcase and he's like, got to go. Just like everybody does in like the hotel room with an actual human being. I thought the same thing. That was like hilarious. Um, guys, we next room. Yeah. So guys, we're going to be like interviewing you know, being a Deontay. rapist oh what like barging in yeah and be like <laughs> i'm fucking you you know right no he's got nicole jr what does he need her for so it's good yeah tyler always tells me if i die he'll have a sex doll named justine instead of another human that comforts me oh that's nice i yeah. get a little doll like that listen when we talk to him we have to get the whole situation like, oh was it my custom? god i got so many was questions. it custom ordered how how many times a day is he using it do they send a mold does of your, he do you, yeah can we ask that if he actually you know finishes Did charlotte inside measure of the, your dick the dog i mean the dog the doll oh the dog. blows a load Jeez. right in there and throws that thing in the dishwasher oh, oh yeah <laughs> That's why his uh, dishes are sparkling clean. Why is this love after lockup episode so disgusting? I'm sorry, guys. This is like, <laughs> of course he does. But if you're at that point, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, right. Out. you're right. You're right. You're right. You spraying it all over the room like a fountain. Okay. I would love to watch Deontay do it. To be honest, I'd rather watch that than Nicole and La- Lacey. <laughs> oh, can't. Oh, the one thing I meant to say about Brittany. When she's like, what? What woman wouldn't love having their man? Oh, I love home that. I love I'm that. just like, me? What do you I mean? Don't. Who I wants don't. somebody Thank trapped you. inside of a house for months on end? We all I, quarantined I, together. I love, we all barely survived. Come on. I like someone I can trust. And I don't have to worry about where, what the fuck he's up to. Yeah, no. It's a, it's a terrible vibe if what you want is home confinement to make feel secure in your relationship. Not good. You know, I want a man who can go to the strip club, but he doesn't sit in the car because he's worried that I'm going to be too mad. But he doesn't go into the strip club and go fuck a girl in the back. But he can sit in a strip club, take a look at the women and be mm-hmm. a gentleman about it. And yeah. then go home and fuck his wife. I Not that that's, that's the thing. But there's a, there's all different types of men, though. Yes. There's men that's too scared to be in a relationship yes. where oh my wife's gonna be so mad yeah. at me then there's the that. guy that's there's jovi who's going in the champagne room right there's got to be a middle ground you there know? is yeah, yeah yeah i believe it i mean yeah i think um there's my measure of <laughs> i also feel like if you're going to a legit strip club like legit legit you're uh-huh. watching art you're watching athleticism you're I watching love people to go. Yeah. freaking get me the fuck work, out of here you know um, I want to see some clitorises that need to be repaired. Yeah, let's see how that happens. They're making good money, even though there is TikTok stripper stripper TikTok, and they're like, it's eleven o'clock. It's not that busy. Oh, but it's two a.m. It picked up, and I was home. My kids home. Blah, 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 and then they show you all the money they made. Wow. It does pick up eventually, but some There's nights always it's a hot not time at the good. strip club. 
Uh, I've told you. Well, I've sorry, some, everyone. I've been at some really sad strip clubs, and it's not. Oh God, not I was in fun. one with TJ with my brother, and I regret oh, yeah. doing that. Yeah, no. There's some things good. I can't forget. Yeah. Going, I grew up in Rochester, New York. There's not a happy strip club in sight. <laughs> oh God. Everywhere Man. you go is sad. There in that town. Oh. Only other thing on Nicole and Deontay. I just love Derek so much when she was like, all right, I'll see you soon. He's like, you'll be gone in two months, so I won't see you. I was like, yes. Oh, Uh, I love him. He's he's such a good friend. He is. I would just, I don't, I don't know how much you can do as a friend. You just gotta. No, you can't. You said your piece and you got to just keep riding her ass. Mm -hmm. She'll just like she did in this scene. She'll expose who she is eventually. She always does. But she's got. She's got an ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend. What's right. going on? How many yeah, people both. are there? She's talking to Tia and she's talking to Zach and she's. I, just... I love the storyline until I knew Lacey was involved. Lacey is not on, but she's still fucking us. Well, I think what she did was just tell her to find a guy and get on. And mm-hmm. then the oh, yeah. hustled all of it. She made all this shit happen. Yeah. And now she's it's... just making it dramatic because she's going to try to ride this out for like two, three seasons. That's a part uh... of it. Poor Deontay. Yeah. Right. He does know, but he's still a man who's thinking he's going to have sex. Yeah. Good for him and Nicole Jr., though. It's not as creepy as I first thought. I'm getting used to the idea, but my dad but better never fucking You've been watching Love After Lock Up too long. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Guess what? Uh, I mentioned this, but we didn't elaborate. We're going to be interviewing Deontay um, coming up in a couple weeks settle in for that uh we'll put up a post on instagram twitter send us your questions yeah be fun too. can't wait and Poor uh, Deontay. we'll be back before you know it we love you guys i can probably do love after lock let me go peek at vernon <laughs>